but I just feel bad for Kelly Marie Tran. You know, like, she's just a huge fan of Star Wars. She loves Star Wars, and so do we all. It's not her fault the character sucked. It's not Luke's, it's not Mark Hamill's fault that his character was written terribly. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, and I have a discussion I wanted to open up. So, this is a little bit different. This isn't so much movie news, but I wanted to address something that was happening um, on social media, okay? So, um, first of all, you guys see that I'm wearing this shirt from The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is... Mm, it's a beautiful movie, cinematic gold, as far as like how it was shot, how is, but as a Star Wars fan, it kills me. As a Star Wars fan, it hurts. And especially, you know, like this is not a political channel, but you see things, and I won't get into details, but you see things in the film that are specifically, you know, very social politics, very social, and it's, it's super hardcore extremist, and it's like, it, it sets up straw men and then attacks them, and it's doing this inside of Star Wars. I have no problem if you if you want to be, you know, like a, a, a you know a, an extremist feminist. If you want to be an extremist feminist, that's fine. But why does it have to take place in the biggest franchise of all time? Why does it have to take place in a franchise that has nothing to do with social politics? My gripe with the Last Jedi is that they took all the men. They took all the men and they made sure that every man was either a space Nazi or a failure, a creep. They made sure they were a traitor, a coward, cut off from the force. And you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Poe. I'm talking about Finn. I'm talking about Luke. I'm talking about even, the, even Benicio Del Toro's character who was a creep. He was a cheat. He was a liar. You know, like they're talking about every man in the film. Snoke a villain, Hux a villain, Kylo a villain. Kylo was the best one out of all of them, and he was still a villain. Um, he was still a rage, you know, rage monkey. You know, he was, it was just, it was crazy. Like, I have no problem with having villain characters. I don't. But when you turn even the, the good guys into failures, losers, villains, frauds, uh, has-beens, and like, it, it hurts, okay? It's very obvious that Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson are trying to make a very hard statement that men are losers and this franchise is 100% women are the only good guys out there. They had a scene in the deleted scenes that was amazing. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, you should look up Finn versus Captain Phasma and extended or deleted scene. It adds so much depth to Finn. It adds so much depth to his character and to his role. It ties back kind of to The Force Awakens. It adds more of that he's not just a coward. He ran because there was danger. But they keep going. You know, like The Force Awakens, he was supposed to deal with this cowardice. And then it, right back in the, in, the, in, the first, uh, in the Last Jedi, you get the Finn running away again. And it takes who? Rose Tico to be the hero? To you know, to kind of, hey, you can't do that. He she tases him and then she takes him back and they like, they have this conversation. He's like, I just need to save Ray and I'm getting out of here. You know, he's still a coward. And it's like, why is he still the coward? I thought we dealt with that in the last, in the, in the Force Awakens. In the Force Awakens, when he stood up to Kylo, he probably knew he was going to die. He's Kylo Ren and he worked in his ranks. He knew he was the baddest of the bad and he picks up a weapon he's never, he's never wielded. You know, he kind of wielded it a little bit, but it was, you know, he picks it up and he's trying to go toe to toe. I'm really glad that Kylo, you know, even though he was a bad guy, he's trying to be a little bit merciful because he's trying to get to Rey. So he like uses the hilt, fries his shoulder, and then, uh, you know, slashes him up the back and then he falls. Um, that was appropriate because Kylo should be dominating in that position. But when Finn encounters him there, He's overcoming his cowardice to step in and try to save Rey. That's what he's doing there. He's trying to save Rey. He's overcoming the cowardice. And in The Last Jedi, you see them destroy that. Nope, he's still a coward. He's still running. He's getting out of here. He's ditching. And then it takes a, a nobody character like Rose Tico. 
Let me make this clear. The, this whole video is, is a rant, but it's a rant to protect somebody, okay? Rose Tico's actress, Kelly Marie Tran, got the role of a lifetime, where she was just this YouTuber, huge fan of Star Wars, just like all of us, and she gets the opportunity. She was handpicked because she's female and Asian, and she got thrown into this movie, and she was given a role that was supposed to go to Lando Calrissian. You know, like that was supposed, it was supposed to be technically Poe. It was Poe and, and Finn were supposed to go to Cantobite and meet up with Lando Calrissian. And then they were going to have this, you know, adventure trying to get what they were trying to get over there. It was going to be a little bit different. They changed it to, to give Kelly Marie Tran a role, which is cool. I mean, if I were given the opportunity to be in a Star Wars film, heck yeah, I'd take it. I'd take it no matter what the role was. I'd be like, yep, sign me up. But the problem here is that people online have started to attack her and she left social media because she was getting beat down by social media, you know, people out there, Twitter trolls and whoever. But people don't think before they say stuff. You know, people don't think about the consequences or how it's going to emotionally impact somebody. These actors, they're not robots. They're people, right? And so the gripe that we have is mostly with, you know, Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson and their the force is feminism and the feminism is the future and men suck that whole agenda that sucks but Kelly Marie Tran was just the actress that accepted the role it's the same way I mean is everyone is everyone yelling at Mark Hamill for how his character came out nobody liked how his character came out his that that sucked it was super disrespectful to the history of star wars to his character who was the main character of the franchise for years and still still is revered as the main character they just disemboweled that guy i mean they ripped him apart he was he was basically breastfeeding off of a sea cow and like he's like <sighs> like all like disgusting and gross and then which was funny but you look at the narrative as a whole, they're just trashing on Luke. They're trashing on all the men throughout Star Wars. All of them. And the women have to come up and step up. Every single woman, including these new rando characters like Rose Tico and Holdo and all that stuff, it's ludicrous, it's stupid. I mean, you could have had General Leia make those decisions. You didn't have to have some pink-haired SJW feminist come in and just, I, I'm gonna keep secrets from my crew, but you need to trust me. What the heck is that? Why in the world does she need to keep secrets from Poe Dameron? You set him up in The Force Awakens as the greatest pilot in the Resistance. The most experienced as a leader. He was a, a squadron leader. But then all of a sudden in the beginning of the movie, he doesn't understand basic consequences. Like as a leader, you're trained to, to guide your guys, your troops, right? So like he's leading. It's not like he doesn't know that there's not people out there that aren't as good as him. He's like, oh no, but I have to get the last shot. I have to get the last shot in. He's just some hot-headed, you know, like, that's not the Poe we saw in the first one. He's maybe a little hot-headed, but he's not inconsiderate of the lives of his, you know, fellow resistance guys. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. And then now you're going to say he doesn't understand basic consequences and he's reckless and we can't trust you and you need to shut up and listen to me. And I'm not going to tell you what the plan is, even though if you did, everyone would have been on board and you could have just done the thing. You could have flown the ship right into the other ship, which was an awesome scene, by the way. And one thing that I have been uh, appreciative of is the fact that they've been killing off a lot of the SJW characters, <laughs> which has been kind of satisfying to watch. Like L3 in Solo. I love Solo. I love everything about Solo. The only thing I didn't love was L3, who was only in the film from the, the beginning of Act 2 to the end of Act 2. She wasn't in the first part, she wasn't in the last part. She was only in like a third of the film, and she dies. And it was kind of satisfying. Because <laughs> it's like, dude, we get it. Don't be so preachy. Like, why are you yelling at us for things that everybody agrees on? Nobody likes slavery. No one wants it. You know, it's like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And uh, if they do, they're freaks. And nobody should associate with those people. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, uh, like we're, we're all on the same page. Like, we're setting up s straw men that like everyone wants to have slaves or like racism. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. You know, like those SJW characters, Holdo and L3, they kind of go out in a way that's a little bit satisfying, right? They go out saving someone else. I think that they should have done that with Rose Tico 
when she was like saving Finn and he's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sacrifice myself. She's like, no, she should have gone out in that blaze. That would have given her character a lot more depth. Despite the fact that the whole Canto Bite thing was a waste of time, she still could have saved Finn. I mean, I don't like the way that that went out. I don't like the way that Canto Bite took place. I don't like, even, I like Benicio Del Toro. I didn't like the character DJ. It sucked. Like, it was really stupid. And um, that's my opinion. And it's not, it's not Benicio Del Toro's fault. It's poor writing. It's putting, it's prioritizing an agenda over the story quality of Star Wars. That's what it is. And that's, that's irking to me. You know, that sucks. Um, but I just feel bad for Kelly Marie Tran. You know, like, she's just a huge fan of Star Wars. She loves Star Wars. And so do we all. It's not her fault the character sucked. It's not Luke's. It's not Mark Hamill's fault that his character was written terribly in The Last Jedi, but in The Force Awakens. It was epic because it sets you up for, like, what was Luke doing all this time? He was trying to kill his nephew? He cut himself off from The Force? He's drinking milk from a space cow boob? It's terrible. Terrible. It's the worst. It sucks. And that's, that's what sucks. Guys, uh, look. Take it easy on Marie, Kelly Marie Tran. Take it easy on her. She's not, it's not her fault. She took the role. But then they like, they did all this garbage storyline where it's like, yeah, all these children are slaves, but we, we took the saddles off of a couple horses on a, on a closed, you know, peninsula plane where the horses are totally going to get caught in a couple days and return back to slavery, but it was all worth it. You know, it's like, that's not her fault. She's delivering the lines that were written from the story that was written by the SJWs. It's not her fault. So cut her some slack, guys. I mean, geez. That's, that's bullying. That's cyberbullying. Quit cyberbullying people. That's stupid. You guys need to calm down. Just chill. Learn to express yourselves in a way that is respectful to people. To say, you know, if you want to say something, first of all, think about why that thing happened. Did Kelly Marie Tran write that character? No. Did she write the script? No. Who did? It was Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy and their team of SJW writers. She kicked out all kinds of qualified Star Wars writers and she hired in women because they're women. Not because they're qualified, but because they're women. That's what she did. Women can be great writers. There's tons of great writers out there that are women. Hire those. I would suggest you stop hiring feminists and hire fans of Star Wars. Like real hardcore fans of Star Wars. And screen out all of our like real world social politics, because it's supposed to be a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away from our problems. It's supposed to be a different, it's a fantasy world, right? So quit making it so close to earth, we feel like we need to change the channel from, from Fox or CNN or wherever it is, because that's what it feels like. It feels like we're getting just a download of all this like garbage. It's social politics, and I'm sick of that. Just quit it like if we want that we go to yahoo.com and type in the news and we do that or google or whatever you know like that we'll go to where we get our news from and we'll listen but that's not why we go to star wars and that's why your toys have stopped selling and that's why solo failed financially not because solo wasn't a great movie it was a great movie it's because everyone's pissed off about the last jedi and we want change so guys Take it easy on Kelly Marie Tran. In fact, if you're one of those people who did that to her, who bullied her on social media, be the bigger man, be the bigger woman, and maybe consider, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but maybe consider apologizing. I mean, how would you feel? It's kind of like the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And it just, remember, she's a person. She's an actress. She, she just signed on to the role. Luke, Mark Hamill, this is my last example of Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill didn't like the role, but he had already signed on to the film. He did it. He's expressed he didn't like it. It's not his Luke Skywalker, but that's it. No one, you're not going to go yell at Mark Hamill for his role. People are yelling at Rose Tico because she was excited to be part of Star Wars and that character sucked. It's not her fault. She's a fine actor, did a fine job. Just the character sucked. Try to think before you act, all right? And don't bully people. Don't be a creep on the internet. People like that, it's, just, it's kind of tough, you know what I mean? But just let me know in the comments. If you guys want to bully me, just let me know. It's fine. I'm, I can take that kind of stuff 
But just be sensitive about that to other people, you know? Don't be, don't be losers. That's what, that's what people who, who are just like blasting people on Twitter and stuff, you're this and you're that and you're a nah. You're a loser. That's what it is. So that's my two cents. You can let me know if you hate me about it or you know you disagree or you think that it is Kelly Marie Tran's fault. It's up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys next time on another episode of The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.